all right what is up everybody back today with another video another knife review on the channel today um we've got my first wee knife um so i'm really digging it so far and i liked it so much i bought a second one already um so a lot of you are probably familiar with the mini buster here that action oh man we will get into that but today we have got the roxy three made in china get right into it so this is the newer civivi packaging the older packaging you would still get your pouch here i'm coming a bigger box they now switch that down here i don't know if people are saying they're trying to cut costs me personally i've got eighteen thousand of those pouches i don't use any of them they sit in the box and the boxes all sit in a tub so Let's get right into it here. Very nice packaging though. It's thick cardboard. You got a nice styrofoam cut out there. Nothing wrong with it. It also came with this microfiber. Very nice, very nice. So here's the knife. This is the Wii Knife Roxy 3 with, I'll read it off here for you. With the tiger stripe pattern flamed titanium handle stonewashed cpms 35 vn blade steel so this knife comes in three options you have this option you have a a black stone washed with this bronze hardware and then you have a uh, all stone washed version that kind of looks like this uh like the mini buster there so you're rocking this one cliff blade right around three inches on the blade length got the finger toil cut in there very nice you've got the uh, grip area on the handle here and I've got large hands I can get three fingers and then grab the choil really comfortably I can also choke back here my pinky kind of hangs but I'm very comfortable there really good hand hold this is a front flipper knife as you can see there front flips very well right-handed as well as left-handed because I am left-handed. You have no, no markings on the blade here. And on the back side, all you have is the TKT logo for Todd Knife and Tool. You have the Wii logo there on the pivot. And on the back side, this is actually a standard body screw with a pivot collar. Um, I have disassembled this knife and that was actually pretty cool. So again, S35 VN blade steel. You've got titanium handles with this flame anodization, which is beautiful. You've got a titanium backspacer uh, flamed as well. And on the opposite side, obviously a frame lock knife with a steel lock bar insert and a 3D milled pocket clip made out of titanium. You do have a lanyard hole in the back here for all three of you that like lanyards. Deployment methods, besides the front flipper, you obviously have the deployment hole here, which works very well for reverse flicking. It also works well for thumb flicking. Um, sometimes these deployment holes aren't great for using your thumb. The way this one's set up, very easy to do. Uh, so I do like that. <clears throat> Moved along to your uh, swedge cut here, or your, your uh, sorry your line cut into the blade here deploys the knife very good as well good on a reverse flick uh, now as far as a thumb flick you can do that i don't know why you would but it's an option with the left hand reverse flick works just as well i'm able to put my thumb on the pocket clip here and then that flick works just good too i'm having a brain fart on what this is called and i know what it is so you don't need to comment it i will remember as soon as i turn this video off now, I did say this was my first Wii knife. Um, technically, it's not, though, because I've had some Civivis. If you don't know, Civivi is produced by Wii knives. It is their budget line. So I have a Conspirator here I got the other day. Really like this knife. I've got the Altus, which is a smaller Conspirator. <laughs> um, Thumbsta deployment. Love the Altus. Really good EDC knife. And I've got a Baby Banter here. Just a cool little knife. Saw it came out. Figured I'd pick it up. 
I've also got a brazen, but I don't feel like digging it out right now. So, this is a ceramic bearing knife. The action is very smooth and the detent is set very well. Um, it's not just gonna fall out. You gotta really snap it to get it to come out. But you've got um, a really good detent to flick it out. So detent is very good. Um, these cage ceramic bearings are super smooth. Um, when depressing the lock bar, you get a guillotine action. So watch your thumb there. Uh, it is not quite drop shotty, but you can easily shake the blade down. Um, if I loosen it a little bit, it'd probably, probably be a little better, uh, but I'm still kind of breaking this knife in. No blade play, no lock rock. Lock up is very solid here. Um, again, this is S35 VM blade still. Comes in at $240 as pictured. I did pick this particular model up from Knife Center, though I'm not sure if, if this model is still in stock. You can pick up the black and gray models pretty much anywhere at any time. Those stay in stock. Um, but I am really digging this knife overall, and I think at the price point, you're coming in about the same as the Spyderco Shaman. Uh, but look at the materials you're getting. Now, obviously, that's a horrible comparison as far as another knife. But on price, you're pretty much right there. So, a couple size comparisons real quick here. What is some nice people would have? Okay, there's a couple. Now we'll pick the phone up here in just a second. All right, so you've got your Roxy 3 here. Here you've got a Hoback Sumo, which is almost identical in size. And to the left, we've got a Spyderco Stovepipe, which is coming in slightly smaller. Since I was talking about the Shaman, I figured I'd compare it to one here. So obviously the Shaman coming in much larger. Uh, let's do a pair of two here. I'm sorry, a Gale Bradley two, which is pretty much the same size as a pair of two. Much, much bigger. So obviously this knife is on the smaller end of the spectrum here. But um, with the finger choil, it is a very comfortable to hold knife, even with larger hands, like I was saying. You get a good three finger grip here, which is very comfortable or to choke up in a kind of a saber grip um you could do some good work there pretty comfortably um reverse grip with the choil is very good and even without is very good let's do a quick sharpness test so this is a more recently produced wee knife um, this is may of 2022 and um, Wee Knife is killing it. It came very sharp. Um, you know about sharp knives, you know. If you can cut patterns into the paper, it's pretty sharp. Um, so absolutely zero complaints there. I have done nothing to this. I haven't even put it on a strop. So you're going to get some good use there. Um, and then a strop will bring it right on back. So again, for $240, if you can find this knife in stock, I would absolutely recommend it. Uh, really nice little knife, very good EDC sized. And uh, another good thing is every screw on this knife is T8. So, let me show you that real quick while well, you watch me struggle here. You can see we've got the T8 Weeha bit. Overlook my ugly man hands. Obviously pivot. T8, even your lock bar stabilizers, T8, uh, T8, wow, I hadn't even checked that one before, uh, obviously body screws, T8, and even your pocket clip screws, guys, T8, <sighs> thank you, Lee Nice, for doing what everybody has wanted for a long time, make every screw the same size and i mean it's just a simple thing and nobody does it but we knife has done it here and i am a fan uh even your lock bar insert is a t8 
Um, and you have no screws on the front side. Well, you got these two. Um, got the pass through there. But yeah, overall, 240 bucks. Absolutely awesome little knife. Super smooth action. Fit and finish is superb. And I would absolutely recommend it. So, we'll talk about the channel here for a second, guys. Uh, I've got this video coming out. It's going to be after my slim foot video here. Um, after this, I believe I'm going to do my other Wii knife here, the Mini Buster. Uh, another one I'm really, really digging. I got this one from White Mountain Knives with a 10% discount code. Got a heck of a deal on it. Um, so that's, that's a lot of knife you're getting here, in my opinion. I've got that. Then I've got this one. I kind of just picked up on a whim. This is the Prometheus Design Works Invictus-C, and the C stands for Compact. So you've probably seen this design in a Protec knife that's automatic. Um, this is the you know Invictus. I'm sorry, PDW and Terrain 365 did a collab where they used a very weird blade steel that technically wasn't a steel; it was an alloy. Um, this version is made just by PDW Prometheus Design Works um, in M390 with titanium handles it's a really cool little knife super smooth action you've got a uh, dive watch grade um glow in the dark inserts there on the thumb studs which is something i've never seen before it's really cool um so we're gonna do that next this one's pretty expensive um especially for what you get but anyways really nice knife but after that i made a purchase i've been wanting to make for a while just kind of put off, but I picked up a SOCOM Bravo, guys, and I am super pumped to get it. Um, the single edge version I got is now sold out, but if you go to microtechgear.com right now, you can pick up the uh, Anthony Marfion's doing uh, hand serrated SOCOM Bravos, and he's signing the boxes. Those are $400. For me, the serrations still weren't worth it. Not only was it $60 more, but then it's serrated, and I don't really like serrations. <laughs> so anyways, but that SOCOM Bravo is on the way, and I'm absolutely stoked to get that thing. So, a lot of new knife con content coming, guys. I try to space these videos out a little bit. Um, you know, nobody watches them anyways, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> but yeah, um... So got those reviews coming. Stay tuned. Can't wait for that Bravo. Um, anyways, what's crazy is the Bravo is less than this knife. Wild. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I appreciate everybody watching. Check this knife out and have you a great day.